this video I will dedicate to Paris Jackson and her brother. Um, and it's interesting because this video came out seven years ago. Um, it it uh, portrays Paris Jackson as a victim of the paparazzi. Hey Paris, good to see you again. How are you? Oh my you? god, you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh my I god. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, how are you? How are you, Paris? Hey, how are you? How was your trip? Congratulations on the cover. Come on, Paris, give us some shots, please. Thank you. Come on, Paris. Back off, please. Back off. Paris, uh, you just uh, so you think somebody murdered your father? Again, this no much comment. attention. No comment. Um, Paris, you really think he was murdered? You guys are like blinding me. I'm really sorry. Okay, can you back up, everybody? Back up. Uh, basically, uh, her brother, this bodyguard, other people around her, especially she. But what makes this um, unique is she's 25 years old. She's just 25 years old. And it's interesting. I don't see that picture anymore. I actually did video recorded that stuff. I got uh, almost like a um, bit uh, funny feeling, basically. Really funny when I when I enter here Paris Jackson and I see this, but this is on the Bing on the Microsoft. It uh, actually it scared me. Yeah, that's the way I like it. It actually it scared me. It really really scared me because the person that you see here is real. The person that you see here is this here. This is what I know her by under MK Ultra. I don't know anything about this person here. Uh, for a moment, when I was video recording this stuff, I got actually shocked. And I rushed to make sure that I would video record this here. To this video recording, which I have committed myself to. That's basically what I wanted. To remember her by I don't want to remember her by anything else uh, this picture here this is basically the picture I will remember her by this started with experiments uh, her involving herself in MK Ultra as a child but I have to tell you, there was very few children that were as violent as she was. She considered herself to be no less than queen since she was like eight years of age. Eight years of age. When she had her father, Michael Jackson, she thought of herself was literally a queen. Literally was a queen. Michael Jackson, who was involved in this stuff and I have not spoken about, was really, as he stated to me, he would dedicate a song to me known as a smooth criminal. He was a smooth criminal. I will not be playing you this song here. He referred to me as a smooth criminal. He was a smooth criminal. This case started with Michael Jackson being involved in my case probably since I was That is a difficult thing to tell see this stuff
died in 2009 at age 50. I do not believe that he is dead. I don't believe for any of these criminals that uh, eventually they would be dead. <laughs> He was involved in so much violence that um, I actually presume he had no choice other than to dunk, disappear. His daughter, Paris Jackson, and also his son were involved in so much violence with their bodyguards, with their people that um, he didn't, they missed probably a meeting with disappearance from the stage. The U.S. government, what the U.S. government does when people go too violent, completely insane about issues, they make them disappear. They don't want to see them anymore on the stage because when they do too much torture, these people are used to torture for torture purposes. He was involved, you know what, he was involved, I think, probably, that I would know of, that I remember him clearly, I would say, like, 1982, and that makes, like, my being old, like, 10 years of age. I would say I was 10 years old when he was involved in it. No, 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 no. He was involved earlier in it. He was really, really not interesting. He was involved much, much earlier in it. Wow. This, actually, this is another guy that was involved, just like Elvis Presley, into early childhood. He goes into the early childhood. The thing is, he didn't make any songs that would be of interest to me. He didn't make any kind of songs that would be of interest to me. I didn't saw him, myself in him in absolutely any way. He didn't seem to me to be talented, absolutely not. And it was in 1982, probably, that he must have released something that was of my interest, that eventually that I started to... Uh, Yep, that I started to catch up the step with it. This is the way this stuff was. Uh, he was involved in early childhood. However, I deemed for this individual that was extremely untalented. He was, to me, with his genre of his music, he was so uninteresting that I was completely, I would not participate in during his MK Ultra. I didn't want to have nothing to do with it. Simply, I didn't want to have nothing to do with it. Uh, I totally ignored one. And he became more increasingly, more and more uh, motivated in uh, issues per why I was ignoring him. Uh, he was not, when I was a child, he was not violent. I don't recall that he would be violent. There was already some producers, even black producers, such as uh, probably what was Diana Ross and beyond that were maybe, and I, I don't want to say this because I did not investigate this issue, but he got calls from others for to commence violence. The black people were very much into the violence that I have to say. They were rough. They played rough, and it's 
it could be they got compensated on that issue. It could be that that's how they got their songs. That's how they got their records going, market. It had to do with the government, everything. So it was a time when their music was taking off. Uh, it was a lot of money they would make. And but with Michael Jackson, I was just not interesting, probably until 1982 to understand. And I don't know what he released in 1982. Diana Ross actually became. Diana Ross was involved. Diana Ross was very nice. I remember Diana Ross. Diana Ross was very nice. Diana Ross was was probably the nicest one of these black musicians. And at one point she started to get involved also in the torture. But she was the nicest of these musicians. You know, she refused to get engaged in a torture um, for quite some time as to the others it was not difficult to get into it okay uh, but once she got into it she became like this is what happened with the people once they once they got themselves in a torture it was like the demons would possess them. It was like no end to this stuff. And I remember Michael Jackson started to have a problem with his skin color. Like, I think like in 1982. Uh, and he was more and more motivated in having a lighter skin he became obsessed with the idea about having a lighter and lighter skin uh, and that shit grew into the nose correction and all kinds of stuff like that well the thing about Michael Jackson is that I was not interested in having anything to do with him. I didn't want to have anything to do with him. Uh, and he started to insist at one point with my not wanting to have anything to do with him at all. With his music was not interesting to me, whatever. Uh, that I like a bright color, a light color, uh, which was true. I liked women that were light-skinned yeah there was also a black woman that i liked uh but overall it was the white woman that appealed to me and of those white women uh blondies light-skinned women really 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 appealed to me um you know when you are drugged up the nature itself of being drugged up and tortured will make you choose brighter color, clean, uh, visible. You understand? The psychology itself, if you throw the person on MK Ultra, it doesn't matter what color it is. Uh, it can be white or black. It doesn't matter. It's going to choose, it's going to go for a light, white, bright colors, light colors. Uh, he will prefer the streets that are clean and light, not dumpsters, side streets where he is beaten up, tortured, and so on. Yeah, I don't think that's a difficult thing to affiliate to. He had his own problems, though, mental problems, which he started to push down my throat like oh he likes a light color you see i don't know what he did with his skin but i am assuming that he had next to cosmetic surgeries that he also 
was working on his skin, making his skin appear lighter or whatever. Uh, he had this kind of issues going on, and the climax of that shit reached with his nose, literally having arguments, fights, literally, with a government people. It was government people who advised him and said, hey, Michael, what the fuck are you doing, man? Uh, before he would get his nose done, he would had to present his ideas to the government officials. And the government officials would go to examine them as to became ambassador. These people are ambassadors of the U.S. government. These are not musicians. They are not movie stars. They are not whatever. They are ambassadors to the U.S. government. And it's U.S. government that takes care of them best of its abilities if they participate in the projects of the U.S. government. It's not just, oh, it's a musician, I'm a musician, I'm a movie star. Fuck no, you're not. You have a contract with the government. And you present certain features, certain characteristics of some kind of freedom in your country. And your projects, I don't know everything about this stuff. There is probably people who do not. There's not everybody is like this, but this major people who sign agreements and so on with the U.S. government, this is the way it works. And so they examined his idea about the nose, what became also a nose surgery. There was some other stuff, cosmetic stuff, surgeries that he had done, whatever. And it finally went into the nose surgery, which was, in my opinion based on what I told him, lunacy, insane, and finally I told him, yeah, great idea, whatever the fuck, you know, because I didn't want to be on the picture, this was, this was too much, it was getting crazy, the whole thing was getting crazy, really, with Michael Jackson, uh, and in front of me, I made a big fucking mistake, I really made a tremendous mistake, It was a really, really bad mistake. And I see here that Michael Jackson even stated here that it was the father who told him that he had a fat nose. Um, Actually, I even see some other stuff that's quite uh, disturbing. Uh, anyhow, um, in 1978, they say Jackson broke his nose during a dance routine and it made difficult, uh, difficulties and so on. You know... Um, I think um, that this is bullshit, that he broke his nose during the dance routine. Uh, this guy was insane, if you ask me. And he was using absolutely whatever he possibly could to get his surgery on the nose done. I have no idea what the father did to him. But I do not, I definitely do not appreciate that he was using me for his surgery, literally. No, so this is, this was done actually, if I understand this, rhinoplasty led to breathing difficulties later affected in 1978. He did not have, um, he did not have this in 1978 done yet. 
That's not possible. No. No, no, this is not possible that he would have. He had this done in, I think, in 1984, 1982, something like that. I don't want to see that picture. I don't want to see it in 1979, 1979, when he was rehearsing. All the fuck I know is that Um, uh, this shit is extremely, extremely painful for me. This shit is extremely, extremely painful for me. Uh, it's extremely, extremely painful for me because uh, when I think about the stuff like this, when I saw those pictures, uh, it uh, it's this shit for me is too much, man. Uh, he and his fucking nose. Uh, in 1993, basically, is when he got his nose, two nose jobs done. Um, he, a uh, prosthetic nose, I can't see it. I, I am sick just by reading this stuff, man. Um, he was using me for, he used me, literally he used me, he was asking me about everything on his body, what is, what that bothered him, and so what would I change, and so on, and this and that. He was not, Michael Jackson was mentally ill. I'm going to put it this way. He wanted to look like top, 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 like perfect, like completely, completely perfect. Something that I have noticed was the issue with uh, Paris Jackson, his daughter, whom he began to uh, tutor uh, to see herself as a queen. And uh, it's interesting because I see this picture here. She's an extremely beautiful woman. And uh, when I see these pictures here, she looks like the most innocent thing in the world. I mean, I mean, if this doesn't look innocent, if this doesn't look innocent, I mean, I don't know what possibly can look innocent. This is like, it looks like, this is extremely beautiful woman, but the looks that she gives are, the looks like she, she is confused, it's like, like, She spends she spent her life doing nothing but photos. Let this stuff not surprise you. 24-7 indeed. So this kind of views, looks, manipulation, how to portray yourself in a public, this is basically what she modeling, if you like. This is what her life is made of. This is what this is. She did some singing and that kind of stuff. Uh, she shared a lot of thoughts with me, but um, things did not go well with this stuff. Uh, she became, <clears throat> due to extremely, extremely violent involvement against me with her brother, her brother was so violent that... Um, She actually defended one from being seen by me like complete beast. And we go, they started to do this shit during the childhood, using their bodyguards, the people around to get the job done. 
she got involved in this stuff when she was at eight years of age. Approached to me like I was animal, literally. And with her brother considered me like an animal. Like animal that you're going to use and you're going to train on. That's Michael Jackson. That's a real, real Michael Jackson. Who was searching for every procedure, for every surgical procedure, for whatever he took. For whatever he took. For absolutely everything. In the 1978, the procedure, I remember now, the 1978, the procedure uh, was not uh, something that uh, Michael Jackson would involve me in. The 1978 procedure, no, his nose procedure, um, this was supposed to be the accident, whatever this stuff was. Um, I did not know much about, I, I, I learned that he had some incident, but I did not know much about this stuff. I didn't know, I didn't pay any attention. It was at least three years, maybe four years, until like, 19, like 1984 that he started to make the deal out of this. Two years, it took him about two years he started to make deal out of it. Probably 1981 is when he started to complain and became really insane. Yeah, when I was like 10 years old, he became more and more violent, more and more agitated. Everything started to bother him. 1982, 1983, 1984, he became, I mean, he was an animal. Literally was a beast. Nothing human about one. And was using me just like you would go and you would use a catalog. Let's say that you would go to the, you would get some catalog to see the merchandise inside or whatever. And you would browse those catalogs to get whatever you want. That's how he browsed me for his physical appearance. Uh, whatever he noticed that would bother him is what he demanded I would notice on him so that he could use government to have his procedures, basically hospitals and such stuff, done. That's how he negotiated this business. I was to him nothing more than a catalog. Nothing. I was a cattle, nothing animal. I know exactly what I was to Michael Jackson. This is precisely the best description I can give. Um, when I see this picture here, she became like an advocate for minorities through the use of torture, extreme physical torture methods. She caused more harm than any figure inside of the Hollywood probably become to in charge herself to the degree that she started to physically torture and display the photo which she insisted me she would use to remind me of the torture she did on me with her bodyguards, with her people in Hollywood. And if I would turn against minorities again and stuff like this, that she would come after me and get me killed next time and so on. This is what her sessions were. Uh, she came a long way since her age of 15. And she faced uh, questions such as why did she believe that somebody murdered her father <clears throat> based on what I see here was seven years ago. This was when <clears throat> torture uh, ended against me uh, because it did not end against me, but they have to slow down with the torture. Uh, Paris Jackson became obsessed with the idea to get me killed. She was working like, tirelessly with her brother uh, with the idea to literally get me killed. Through the torture, through the use of torture. Uh, on one side of the ocean was Vladimir Putin. 
On the other side of the ocean was Paris Hilton, obsessed with the idea to get me killed. Um, blaming me also for what was the death of her father. I am not going to go into the issues whether her father is really dead or not. I believe that he is not, and I have the right to believe this. He was on medications, all kinds of stuff he was doing to himself. Uh, absolutely a beast. Nothing human about that uh, end up blaming me for it all. I mean, with uh, how much money was this guy worth? He, he, he had so much money, he didn't know what to do with it. With a good reason, he started to see himself as a king, as a royal, uh, because royals were involved with the Jackson family. They were involved with the Jackson family, and they were taking bribes from these British royals. Prince Andrew was very good with them. Uh, one of the most bizarre things that I know of that was involved in MKUltra was the issue of Michael Jackson. And when I say bizarre, this was, it's all about the violence he got himself involved in. Uh, and then, I don't know, he disappeared from the picture. Supposedly he's dead. Like I said, I have the right to my belief. I believe that he's not dead. I believe that he got his fake identity in place, fake death certificate. If he is dead, he's dead. But, you know, uh, supposedly he died in 2009, as you were able to see. Uh, and the climax of this torture, of this, it wasn't torture, but it was attempt through the burnout with... Disallowing one to sleep is basically what they would do with terror and death threats and so on. Uh, Rich, right here, the climax was when it comes to Jackson family, others already stopped. Jackson family, however, was one of the last in the United States of America that would stop this murderous procedure, this MK Ultra bestiality, as far as physical, active physical violence against me. Uh, they suggest here that they stopped like in 2017, from what I remember, uh, and it's something that they have, it must have been in 2016, but they always had rendezvous with these reporters, their reporters, uh, people whom they contracted to do uh, reports for them. They had this kind of rendezvous uh, with Paris Hilton, literally meeting journalists on the side with whom she would arrange a cover-up. Uh, it was people, literally hitmen, literally, literally killers that would go out there and pose as a journalist and explain her the issue behind torture, how that stuff needs to be done so that she would not fall under the suspicion of the public. If anything would come up, if anything would open up the truth about the case, that it would cover her up. Did they have their people like this, the, the literally assassins with the cameras in their hands, they would do then show, they would start doing this stuff. And in her case, I went ahead with her personally to this home these people, she had visits then from these people inside of her home, uh, would discuss this kind of issue with, clearly with the, U, with the United States of America government, when she was 11 years old. When she was 11 years old, she made a complete arrangement with these killers, who had, instead of machine gun or gun or revolver, a camera in hand giving the opportunity to these Hollywood stars 
you see, but it, uh, uh, at her age 10, at her age 10, literally, at her age 10, literally, can you imagine? It was her mama that would do this stuff for her. Her mom was involved in this stuff. And they told her how to, uh, how to do this stuff. How to do this type of stuff. She had some younger ladies also that they would use to... The, the whole family was involved in this stuff. And it was... She explained to me, this is done in a such a way that there is nothing you can do. They assured her, since she was a child, on how this stuff is done. Yeah. And so, the climax of the torture with uh, Paris Jackson and her brother reached when they threw me inside of the psychiatric hospital. It, this was when insane, in 2012, and 2013, and 2014, 2015, it became, it was, it, it turned into an obsession. It, it turned into a murderous uh, spree. 2015, 2014, they did such a stuff, such a bestial stuff, and they would have these reporters run around and suggest using literally reporters also to torture me. It was not only the Jackson family, but Little reporters they would use also were involved in physical torture in the United States of America. And so then you can see what how they portray the reality as they put Hey Paris, good to see you again. How are oh you? Oh my god, you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh sorry. Oh my god. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, how are you? How are you, Paris? Hey, how are you? How is it? Congratulations on the cover. Come on, Paris, give us some shots, please. Come on, Paris. Back off, please. Back off. Paris, so you think somebody murdered your father? No comment. No comment. Um, Paris? You really think he was murdered? You guys are like blinding me. I'm really sorry. Okay, can you back up, everybody? Back up. You guys, what? You back up. Alright, let's not do made. let's no, not do coffee beans. We need to get No, 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 no. Keep going. Um, go this way. Again, this way. attention. Oh, sorry, what happened? Two minutes. Look at this. Now she's playing, and look, look what kind of show this is. And this, this was a in a heat. This is where the torture ended. If this was recorded in 2017. And this is basically where the torture ended. I think this was actually recorded in 2016. And there is your victim basically making the show on how hurt she is and how the paparazzi is after her. And this is pretty much what is not only seen through the Paris Jackson, but it's also other Hollywood people that would do this stuff. They would not everybody would be using the same people, which clearly demonstrates that everyone had his own little bloggers, whatever you want to call this, news media, journalists, and so on. Every media outlet out there had their murderers, killers, literally assassins, instead of guns using literally cameras to cover up for the Hollywood people. But this was the worst thing on Watch out, bro. Paris, what are your thoughts about the uh, murder of your dad? Hey, get in a room, get in a room, get in a room. There is something else about this stuff here. There is something else about this stuff here. Um, <clears throat> U.S. government will also do stuff like this when they learn that somebody is excessively physical, vi physically violent, aggressive. And when they have on you, 
excess amount of proofs about your exercise and violence on somebody. They would send you a crew like this and they would just simply mercilessly like this uh, could possibly also be stalk you and harass you like this in front of the cameras. Uh, and then, yeah, I mean, if you would say something, then it would be... Because, you know, this the way this is done, it's like portraying her like... A victim of something uh, like in a very very I'm gonna say uh, insensitive way too if you pay attention to like extremely extremely insensitive way I would under no circumstances dare as a reporter to go after somebody asking her uh, about murder father and then run back and forth what also tells me that this is a coordinated issue with the reporters that you see right there. Um, however, if I would have the proofs about something and that you're playing, that you're doing stuff like this to somebody, uh, I could do some kind of sick issue on you uh, to cause you psychological problems, knowing that in the background of it all, I do have actually video and audio recordings about how you perform torture, merciless torture on somebody completely innocent that you had no right to touch, even approach to, with anything other than attempt to assist, help, uh, and that's all there is to it. The, this video here that you see right there was however coordinated with the people that are posing that are asking this kind of questions are doing this to cover up to uh, protect her uh, to portray her uh, to put it plain and simple nobody in a Hollywood believed that this case eventually is going to become known that this case eventually is going to see a daylight and you can see how much they struggle still doing their best to keep one silent, invisible as much as possible. How much energy they invest in it to make this low-profile case as much as possible. So basically, this is the way this is done. Please stop. Hey, guys, Please guys, stop. stop. Sorry, Please that I'm stop. Okay. Paris, it's okay. Seriously. Don't let them break out. So this is hey. a show. That's her brother and the guy that you see right there, the bodyguard, uh, use a lot of threats against me. He was a bodyguard also for somebody else. He was also involved somewhere else. He also was a bodyguard for somebody else. Sometimes these people would change bodyguards. Uh, in the bodyguards that will work for somebody, they would come and work for another person. Special detail, special detail for another person. That, that kind of thing. Yeah, you can see that this reporter. Uh, quite uh, without absolutely any fear. I see there is a lot of reporters. It's not only one reporter. What's up, bro? What's up? So, what can I say? Um, if anything, uh, this this here is uh, it, it threw me on my feet. Um, Paris Jackson through the Google. Um, this is, this is, this, this is, this is, this is, actually this is really not her picture. 
this is not a real picture. This is just a picture of some girl posing. And what's interesting about this stuff is she flirted with me insanely. Uh, in front of her father, flirted with me as a child. Pedophilia definitely was the thing in Jackson family because when I consider this stuff that she's 25 years old and when I go let's say go to my Facebook and there is a individual whom I have mistaken that was involved for two other people um, this lady here this is um, she is from, uh, I don't know, from, from the Baltic state, uh, Latvia, Estonia, whatever. No, not Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, whatever. Um, this is very, very interesting. This stuff is very, very interesting to me. She was involved a very, very long time in it. Um, and I couldn't figure out who the fuck she, this, this one was. Also, she was involved so long in this case. Um, I'm actually even... Um, I think this lady was actually employed inside of the store, Latvia, uh, that she was employed inside of the store, but I completely, everything I enter about identifying her, I did completely wrong, because I have no ability to, uh, really identify her, uh, the pictures that she had, I wouldn't even look at it, I didn't even bother to look at the pictures, whatever, uh, I just went by the memory and, you know, the United States of America government made an arrangement and made they use people like Paris Jackson, they use these Hollywood stars uh, to be influencers around the world by befriending, by having them befriend people for whom United States of America government believe their families could have a major impact in their countries on opinion of the people. And so, Paris Jackson had befriended people from, in this case, this is Latvia. This was not the only lady. There was um, a young girl with whom I traveled from Latvia to United States of America uh, to meet her uh friend uh you know paris jackson when paris jackson was still a few years older girl it was the latvian government that would select her that would, that would work with her like a friend and actually even work with her and so on whose father was let's say, a teacher and mom was some uh a chemical engineer or pharmacist or something like that uh and then there was another family, and so on and so forth. That's how United States of America government works, and that's how United States of America government is using the Hollywood, these people. This is exactly basically the way it goes. And it works for other systems. Uh, they're trying to make like family ties with these people, like old friend, good friend, and so on. Uh, in this case, obviously, in Baltic states to keep a Russian aggressor uh, intimidated as far as possible, basically. Demonstrating the ties, if there will be anything like this, uh, the issues behind, so they could intervene, rescue people, uh, etc., 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 and, of course, spread influence about it. This is just basically the way it is. And this show was not very cooperative, but in real life, uh, she was very, very nice. I think she was a sales lady. I think she was a sales lady. I saw her in the stores a lot. So, but I don't really know. I would not go and guess second. I would not take another plunge into it with so many people involved in it and very non-cooperative. I would not get myself into this anymore. Um... 
they did not like they did not like uh, idea about me identifying I think here is what I wrote her about this stuff here look and uh, at age 12 you became really really impossible to handle and you just wouldn't wait a bit longer as I asked you even begged you you had your little bro with you you were growing up like a little wild cat for whom I began to assume was grown up uh, she not only confused me back then, but when Facebook, in exactly the same fashion as YouTube, introduced people involved in real drugs. Just display you the name of somebody from Hollywood, like the group from this guy, join the group from this guy, or like the page from this guy or this girl. That's basically the way it operates on a Facebook. And it's all accordingly to MKUltra scenario from the people who participated in MKUltra. They would give me a clue. It's like, one time you're going to see on a Facebook, make sure that you and this and that. And they would present me their groups with what signs to look for and so on and so forth. Not honest way because issues we are talking about when it comes to her photos. She would be rehearsing with me, next to me, since her childhood. There was another side of this Paris Hilton, like it was another side about of Prince Harry or Prince William or Prince Charles. Prince William never directly really would participate. Very, very suddenly he would participate directly in a torture. But he did. However, all these people would have a totally different uh, image next to the dark one and would pose with me with ice cream in hands in some exotic areas to make sure that they would have their side of the story they could portray, their side of reality, basically, they could portray. And that's how people, real people get killed. I'm a real person. Real, as real as it gets. Post next to me in challenging dresses, flirted with me uh, to a degree that she would get my interest and then simply switch me off. And then again, I would find myself in some torture scenario. And this basically is where it went. I would not realize when she was 12 years old anymore. I would completely lose track. This girl was growing up very, very quickly. Uh, when this girl was like 12 years old, it appeared to other people as completely adult. She, at 11 years of age, was a big girl, grown-up girl, from what I remember other people saying. At age 12, this was already almost, it looked like adult. Um, actually, at age 10, you became impossible to handle. Um, but the interesting stuff, the interesting stuff was that she got her first tattoo done uh, when she was... Uh, just 11 years old. Uh, that tattoo, however, is a possibility, was not a real tattoo. She was always dreaming about uh, tattoos. Uh, it could have been that sticker or whatever that you can use back and forth as much as you want. And uh, her father, Michael Jackson, was very, very much not excited about tattoos. He did not want to have anything with the tattoos, her having the tattoos. She got her first tattoo. She was hiding for two years a tattoo from her father. Her first tattoo, a real tattoo, she probably got at her age 12. Real tattoo. And the, the flirtiest thing that she did with me was she suggested that she got herself a tattoo uh, under... 
you know, uh, I don't even know how to say that. On her belly, just enough uh, where the pants cover the whole thing under the belly under what is this here umbilicus umbilicus whatever umbilicus in that area so the flirt which based on her age was wow at the early age why was she doing this stuff like this i have no clue was there like something that went on inside of the family i have no clue whatsoever all i know is that she was treated like a grown-up all i know is that her father demanded from her to see herself as a queen no less since she was eight years old since she was eight years of age Aha, below Neville. Uh, uh, the lady does not understand anything. She's just here by coincidence. This is the lady. Uh, I'm surprised that she chose her. Based on MK Ultra scenario, the one she preferably would use or for paris jackson preferably would use another younger girl that was maybe about 40 years older than paris jackson who befriended her um and who supposedly would go and work uh for paris jackson one day whatever happened to those plans i do not know i think that girl went on instead to study or whatever but it's also latvian uh, so instead, she gave this girl to run uh, the photos of Paris Jackson, which in which Paris Jackson had posed in front of me over the course of years. I could tell you probably a lot more about this family. Uh, it's just that this here is not what she's going to be remembered by me. She has a strong strong connections to the Polish government. You're talking about Andrzej Duda being uh, also all crazy about her beauty. Uh, Morawiecki and so on, they uh, took her side. They were really excited, like a roosters about this stuff, uh, about that she looked Polish, that how beautiful that she is, and so on. Apparently, that during MK Ultra, that she did not appeal to me in absolutely any way. This is what the Polish government claimed uh, that I didn't like Polish women, and so on and so forth. Whatever the reality is, you probably can make conclusion yourself. So can you make me feel sorry? Excuse me, excuse me. Hey, Tara, it's good to see you again. How are you? Oh my you? god, you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh my god. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. How are you? I'm How are you, Paris? Okay. How are you? How was your trip? Congratulations on the cover. Thank Come on, you. Paris. Give us some shots, please. Come on, Paris. Back off, please. Back off. Come on, Come on Paris. Back off. Paris, so you think somebody you murdered your father? No comment. No comment. Um, Paris? You really sorry. think he was murdered? You guys are like blinding me. I'm really sorry. Okay, can you back up, everybody? You guys, what? Conrad Ray yeah. with someone else. Come on, give him a break. Paris is pretty shocking. All right, let's not do. Made. Let's not do coffee beans. We need to. No, no. I actually need to even see who this guy is. <clears throat> it looks like. Uh, her brother, but I need to make sure about this stuff. I need to see this stuff here so that we don't. <clears throat> oh, it was involving it too. Um, 
I was thinking about that this could have been, and now I'm going to see this here, that actually this could have been, this, this here, this is 27 years old. This is the brother, this is the brother that well, looks very much like a younger one. Biggie Jackson is just 21 and he is 27. Uh, Biggie Jackson, uh, Biggie Jackson, what can I say? Biggie Jackson was to me, uh, I was afraid of Biggie Jackson because I did not, because the whole thing was insane. Uh, I believe that Biggie Jackson was meant to be my wife. So if this is not fucking insane, then I don't know what the fuck is insane is. Yes? Uh, long hair. Uh, I did not fucking know. Was it boy? Was it girl when I was drugged up, subjected to MK Ultra, all kinds of humiliations and shit, torture. And this is fucking insane. Asked from Paris Jackson and her older brother, and then you fucking tell me if these people are 100%, they have everything inside of their head. Uh, asked by them, Oh, what the fuck? Paris Jackson, Prince Jackson. Asked, asked, literally asked if, you see, I like this kind of picture. This goof shit is what I like. Because we're not going to meet each other. Because like this on a camera, you can do a face like this, and you can laugh like this. Because you know, if I would get you in my hands, you know I will put the fucking fist through your mouth with through your ass out. You know that. But like this, it's nice. You can laugh. You can goof. Right? It works. That's why I got disturbed today when I saw her picture. The way it looked different. It wasn't that picture that she wanted me to remember her by. just simply insane these people presented me the youngest one with the long hair as a, as a girl literally if i like her they intimidated all the fucking time if i like her and i wasn't sure what the fuck is this it's like it looked like they are getting me a bride basically it's like he's gonna fucking marry you so you know this is this is a fucking horror and I gotta tell you, to me, it did not look like the best looking bride. I'm not also a pedophile. Uh, I'm not. You understand me? You're fucking sick. A Paris Jackson, a real Paris Jackson that I know of, and who also wanted to make herself seen as such. The real Paris Jackson that I know of is the Paris Jackson you see right here. This is a Paris Jackson. When you enter the Google search engine, you go and you enter this stuff, and this is the picture that I demonstrated you earlier. Also was on the Google. This is the real Paris Jackson that I will remember as a Paris Jackson. She posed in front of me in a different, all kinds of ways and so on and so forth. But this is the Paris Jackson that was Paris Jackson in my case. The picture right there, did you see on the left hand? This is a Paris Jackson. And I also like that picture about her brother. Because it's quite honest. I'm going to put it that way. It's it's a really really honest picture. All through, I don't believe that if we meet in person, that he would look like this. We will meet in person, but at the court, 
you could wish for, but instead we're going to meet at the court. I want to know what right you had to physically engage in a torture and those issues. Although I would preferably meet you somewhere else on the side. Like man to man, you know, face to face, basically. Because you are a tough guy. Yes, you can. You are a king in the United States of America. And so I have a specially soft spot for people like you. These are the people that would go to assist with the issues, British royals. The furthest that I know of that I would go and chase these people, Michael Jackson, that I would experience this kind of issues, literally pertained to Prince Andrew, and the whole thing would go like mentally disturbing stuff with Michael Jackson, started really with his accident in 1979, 1978, whatever. In 1979, he started to get annoying uh, I know I said earlier, like two years after after he had an incident, uh, but in 1979, he started to rain complaints. And those complaints started to get impossible sometimes in 1981 with literally British monarchs on the picture, uh, wanting to know absolutely how everything with him and so on and so forth. Like they were like very, very considering, concerning, and so on, etc., etc., etc. In reality, uh, this is exactly what this Jackson dynasty is was all about. Now, I don't know what else I would tell you. That's all there is to it. That's a pretty good description about them. Every journalist that you have seen on <clears throat> on uh, every journalist that you have seen here, no, no, no. This, um, I'm thinking about it's another problem that I have <clears throat> with this stuff. You know, <clears throat> another problem that I have with this stuff are the boyfriends that are on the picture. Uh, and the boyfriends that were on the picture, I think that this is her brother. Uh, they would have another guy that similarly looked to his brother. And then there was other people that were also in the picture. I would really need to have police file uh, with people's pictures that were involved in her life. A catalog that I would go through, that I would browse this and go back and forth, get some oxygen, take some time to sort it out everything in a proper sequence so that I would know who exactly played what kind of role. Um, she, she dated already when she was very, very young. This, this is this, this girl lost her virginity when she was very young, actually. Um, this, this was, this, um, was, she dated actually the guys that were like 28 or something like that, I think. It was an older guy like this, like 28 when she was just, he became like a popular Romeo in Hollywood, dated another girl whoever that was, and find his way to her. And he was a real dog, whoever this guy was. Uh, um, you got this for to gain this much attention? I'm sorry, what happened? Come in. Okay. 
Coffee beans. We need to get No, 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 no. Um, Go this way. To gain this much attention. Uh, we're sorry, what happened? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. If you pay attention, she is running straight into the area of photographers. Now, if you if you pay attention, she's going to run straight into the area of the photographers. And I'm going to use just one guy to identify him here. There you go. Um, he did, he made it. No. Uh, there's a guy here that you see, a small guy here that you see. This this was one of the guys who was involved in it, and he was looking for the job. Uh, a little guy here that you see here. This guy here that you see here. Uh, I don't know who this guy is. This is he, what country he's from, I do not know. Uh, but this guy was involved for quite some time. He was involved in it, whoever this guy is. Is he a real reporter or he's not a real reporter? That he actually became a real reporter. It seems like he did become a real reporter. Uh, this guy, however, uh, no, he's not from China, this man. This man is from another country or there somewhere from Asia. I don't know which country he is from. I really don't know. He's not from China, though. He's from another country. And uh, back in the day, he wanted to play tough. He appeared in the picture like sometimes in 2001, 2002. Um, when it appeared, the whole thing like uh, he wasn't uh, he like he wanted to be a photographer, that he would be a photographer and so on. If I would get into, I would probably get into his family too. Uh, but he really was not a tough guy. He actually is a soft guy, nice guy. Maybe in this all this crowd of these people here that you see, this was probably, I think, is the nicest guy of them all. I don't know about the rest of it. Uh, probably I would say sharks. But not this guy. This guy, this guy just, uh, this guy really wanted to be identified he posts out there and uh well he somehow find himself in a picture this asian guy this guy here that you see but he is not chinese but i don't know what country he is from i will never guess what country he's from he looks like maybe chinese but he's not he is from another country in area but i don't know what country 
I never was good at, at telling what country. I would fly with him also to his country and so on. And I was just no good at identifying him. This was just a soft guy, nice guy. Uh, that he obviously he wanted to be seen. He knew probably that one day I would see this video, whatever. <clears throat> Last night, it all apparently came to a head, and ABC's David Wright is on the story. Hello, face. That rarely ever is seen in public without makeup. Just a few okay. days ago, the king of pop's daughter seemed like a typical teenage girl. So I'm rubbing this in my face. Video blogging her beauty secrets, beauty. confiding about the man of her dreams. That was a little I had this fantasy that I was going to marry a cowboy. And behaving, well, a little goofy, a little lonely, but not totally out of the norm for a teenage kid. Hello there! Um, actually, uh, this was the only time that I remember her that she was happy. I remember this, and she was happy. Uh, they brought me to her in her room. And uh, exactly what you see right there, this is basically how she acted. Uh, she finally, thanks God, no longer knew who the fuck I was. Uh, even that I felt at the time that she grew up a lot, that she became bigger, and I said to myself, too damn bad. Uh, but then I kind of came to senses. I realized, I said to myself, well, I said, fuck it. Uh, it's okay. Uh, she doesn't really have to remember me. I, I felt like this place was weird, crazy anyways. So... I felt like finally I'm free, right? She got her boyfriend, whatever, so now fucking let me go. This was the only time that I remember her that she was like really, really happy. In For my taste, for my views, she was normal. This is a time when I recall that she was normal, that I actually expressed interest to see her again. Because otherwise, this is just crap. Uh... I mean, look at this. Look at this shit. This is... Look at her, I mean. She is just... How old? You're talking about... 16 years old girl here. She's 16 years old, basically. Person in the reflection. Then, days later... No, under MK Ultra, it appeared to me... Under MK Ultra, this appeared her age, and that it appeared to me like solid, like 25, something like that. It appeared to me like 25. An eerily familiar 911 call. Parkway, Calabas. Paris Jackson rushed to the hospital by ambulance at 2 a.m. from the Jackson family compound. Female 15 OD'd on 20 Motrin and cut her arm with a kitchen knife. This was a serious suicide. Attempt. This was not a cry for help. And what's coming out is that there have been other attempts at suicide. She's a troubled young girl. What? You know what? I'm not going to even post this shit on the internet. She did have some kind of uh, issues back then and so on. I'm not going to be putting this stuff on the internet. Oh, fuck it. I think that uh, that this is this this was actually just an extremely extremely troubled young girl, and I think that there is a lot of stuff that I have no fucking clue about what went on. Uh, there must be some other stuff that went on that that uh, I feel that they drove her crazy. Uh, the way that she was treated was just this is just not. Uh, I think that she was super super hyperactive girl. Because of her father, I think. I think that her dad made her and feel and special and so on. And I think there was something more than that. That kind of uh, hyperactivity that she had is what the children that are sexually exploited display. I don't know. I don't know. It could be that she was sexually abused by her father, her, uh, his father's friends. Uh... Who the fuck knows what uh, 
the issue is here. I know that um, I have seen all kinds of stuff being involved in NK Ultra. Uh, I have seen uh, I have seen children raped. I have seen children raped. Japanese children were raped. In the school in the city of the novel master two girls when I was just maybe eight years old I was just eight years old and uh, those girls were my age they were my age and uh, I'm actually going to give a real good thought about this stuff. The thing about it, why I'm doing this stuff is because I'm doing this shit because uh, I am afraid that uh, Hollywood, um, that Hollywood will not learn. I mean, look, look the way this looks like. I mean, look, look what this is. I mean, look at this facial expression. I mean, look what this is. I mean, and look at this one here. Look, look what this is. I am just afraid of one thing. I am I am afraid that the Hollywood is not going to learn the lesson. I am just afraid that uh, I'm afraid of this shit here. This this is the shit I'm afraid of. This here, this stuff here. This is what what uh, makes me mad, basically. This is the kind of stuff that maddens me. Um, that kind of stuff is what makes me mad. And I would not want to live in a world where I would know that bastards like this are somewhere uh, and there is another me out there that is paying the price because I haven't done the job when I had the opportunity to get it done. That's the only thing that hunts me. I don't think these people are ever going to stop with this kind of stuff. I think that the time has got to come when they have to pay the price for it. As severe as it gets. So then maybe it would stop. If it's not too late already, it's a, it's actually even a question when it comes to the United States of America, greater than Great Britain, and of course others that follow this show. Others are followers, talking about France here, Germany, you know, they just follow this crazy ritual without having any choice, really, real choice. I don't know what am I going to do with this stuff. She was empowered by the Slovenian police. It was the Slovenian police that would participate in the torture. It was the Slovenian police that incited her in torture. She got connected herself with the Slovenian police. Is a young person is 25 years old and uh, these are serious decisions to be made because once you make these decisions uh, you have to stand by them educated decisions
I feel that the breaths like this, you know, spoiled breaths like this, they don't learn unless they're punished, unless they're, you know, as I stated for the British Royals, take all the money they have, take all their possessions they have, get them in the jail, jail them, and get their grandkids homeless. So they can feel what, from the beginning, from the early age, what a poverty is, how it hurts, how it actually harms person, what it means to not only psychologically but physically injure person based through the sleep deprivation and so on. As I think that in this area, era, this type of torture reached climax. And if something is not done about it, stuff like this will continue to go on. And will be other people like myself will be hurt in it. I don't forgive this stuff. I am going to give a second thought about this stuff. I don't know. That's the video I have seen for the first time, this video here. Uh, it's not that this video made any difference to me. Uh, I am just thinking about... Uh, that it was actually one time when I saw her happy. So Mary Cowboy. And behaving, well, a little goofy, a little lonely, but not totally out of the norm for a teenage kid. Uh, not out of the normal. And behaving, well, a little goofy, a little lonely, but not totally out of the norm. Not totally out of the normal. Yeah. That's the person whom my kids I never would trust is talking to into the camera. Literally mainstream media literally defends uh, this type of stuff, advocates this kind of stuff, this type of criminal attitude. Loss. Perhaps another cry for help no one heard. It's very important for parents and teachers to be on the alert for signs and symptoms and to seek to get these kids the kind of help that they really need. Among those tweets, barely 24 hours ago, this lyric. Yesterday, all my troubles seemed so far away. Now it looks as though they're here to stay. Beatles tune she ironically owns as part of Michael Jackson's estate. She's the little girl who has everything but at the same time has nothing. Not the thing that she wants the most, her father. Exactly. Yeah, and that's basically why I will go ahead and press charges against her and her family because of the shit like this who uh, he was involved in it and I don't want average American to turn into the shit. There is no such thing that has everything and nothing. His heart is basically crying for Michael Jackson, not for the justice, not for the just world, not for what police work basically dictates you. But you fucking give your badge back, go do some other job, or do your fucking police work. Is a police officer, I cannot afford to have the United States of America to turn into the shit like you see right there in front of you. I cannot. Because it ripped apart already the whole fucking world. It caused enormous damage. You can be seen what is happening in Ukraine today. 
the bloodshed I suffered here in this Yugoslavia, greater Serbian Chetnik state, and where the whole picture is taken in the world too. Famous or not famous, uh, with a soft or not soft spot in your heart, whether you see, whatever it is that you see, your job, whether you are mother or father, uh, whether you are son or daughter, is to see in a person, a person for what it is. If the person does a criminal act, the meaning such as daughter, father, mother, son, avoid inside of the jail. Criminals get what is a number. They don't call them by the first and by the last name. And that's what's wrong with the United States of America. Getting innocent people murdered, killed. with criminals right at the top singing songs such as Smooth Criminal. She will get her day of the justice in the court. I don't like this. Though. I don't want to remember this for that. I would never forgive myself if I would do my job. I don't want another one like me to be there. There is a pedophilia and there is much worse than pedophilia. This was the case. This is the case of the pedophilia. But it's actually such a bad case of the pedophilia that the government officials, the government itself, which created one, could not afford to recognize for what the case was. And the further you went, the worse it got. With the government help, hope on how I would eventually get even killed in the process. Well, it was nothing they didn't exercise to get me killed. So, God put me to this world to make sure there would not be another one like me. So, I'm going to be the first one to testify for all the people killed before me. And hopefully for... I know it's not going to be none, but it's going to be for less and hope for also this is what I really really hope for I very very much hope for this is what I my I'm gonna be this is what I will hope for the crime itself to become the biggest criminal offense of all offenses that this will be the crime that will not only equal to the case of the pedophilia, human slavery, trafficking, as it was everything I stated involved in it, including the human experimentation, butchery, poisoning. They will become the worst criminal offense known to the humankind in this world. So that the shit like this who participated in it, so the shit like this who knew about it, the shit like this that is projecting to the world softness about not what is misdemeanor, but a heavy criminal act could also get in jail, get to the right spot for not doing their job. If you don't want to do your citizen's duty, which is crime, is to witness and to not act, you will, as a fucking police officer, you will, because of the badge you hold in your hand, because of your duties that dictates you, you have no fucking right to think what is right, what is wrong when it comes to torture, big sides, but to act. That's why I will do this. This guy actually 